The Incredible Book-Eating Boy. Henry loved books, but not like you and I love books. No, not quite. Let's see this book. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. And then let's get started. It says Tom Coulter, 19 Sunwick Street, Belfast. The Incredible Book-Eating Boy. Wow. Henry loved books, but not like you and I love books. No, not quite. Henry loved to eat books. It all began quite by mistake one afternoon when he wasn't paying attention. He wasn't sure at first and tried eating a single word just to test. Next, he tried a whole sentence and then the whole page. Yes, Henry definitely liked them. By Wednesday, he had eaten a whole book. And by the end of the month, he could eat a whole book in one go. Henry loved eating all sorts of books. Story books, dictionaries, atlases, joke books, books of facts, even math books. But red ones were his favorite. And he was going through them at a fierce rate. But here is the best bit. The more he ate, the smarter he got. A. Book goes in. B. Information goes to brain. Brain getting bigger. C. Belly gets full. He ate a book about goldfish, and then he knew what to feed Ginger. Before long, he could do his father's crossword in the newspaper and was even smarter than his teacher in school. Henry loved being smart. He thought that if he kept going, he might even become the smartest person on earth. Smartest, the smartest person on earth. So he kept eating books, and he kept getting smarter and smarter, the quiz show. And smarter. He went from eating books whole to eating them, to eating them three or four at a time. Books about anything. Henry wasn't fussy, and he wanted to know it all. But then things started going not quite so well. I'm going to eat you. In fact, see, he's dreaming. In fact, they started going very, very wrong. Henry was eating too many books and too quickly at that. He was beginning to feel a little ill. Bite, chew, 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 gulp, green, greener, greenest, well, an Irish word for ejecting the contents of your stomach is boke. But here is the worst bit. Everything he was learning was getting mixed up. Six plus two equals three. Two plus six equals elephant. He didn't have time to digest it properly. It became quite embarrassing for him to speak. Suddenly, Henry didn't feel very smart at all. Pick me. I know, miss. I know, I know, I know, miss, miss me. He's just confused. More than one person told him that he should stop eating books. No more books. Your head and belly can't cope. Besides, it means no one else can enjoy them. You owe me a total of... So Henry gave up eating books. And sadly, and sat, sadly for a long time. What was he to do? Then after a while, 
and almost by accident, Henry picked up a half-eaten book from the floor. But instead of putting it in his mouth, Henry opened it up and began to read. And it was so good! Henry discovered that he loved to read, and he thought that if he read enough, he might still become the smartest person on earth. It would just take a bit longer. Now, Henry reads all the time, although every now and then... <laughs> See? See the corner? Oop. Looks like he ate the corner off of the book. That was called The Incredible Book-Eating Boy. So maybe read books instead of eat them. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you subscribe, and I hope you come back often. See you next time on Stories with Grandma.